standing on her back and I had her hair wrapped around my fist. <clears throat> uh, welcome to episode number 29 to the Ma- Martin Markle podcast. We are in a house. My house. We're in Michael's house this week. And um, we're we'll here give, every week. We'll give you a little tour. I can't stop playing with my fucking stomach rolls. I can because it hurts when I touch my stomach because I have pancreatic cancer. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Are you gonna let them know? Yeah, well, I guess <laughs> by this, by the time this comes out, we'll know. Or so I'll either be deeply devastated or on a weekend bender. Fuck. So would you de- be devastated if you found out you didn't have cancer? And or would you? And no, I'd be devastated if I found out I did have cancer. So the bender would only happen if you didn't have. cancer? It would be a celebration. Yeah. Okay. Would you just have? What about if you did have cancer? And then this, would the bender be like just? No, I wouldn't have a bender because then I'd die quicker. Okay. Okay, I can see that. Well, there you go, guys. Make sure you send some love, even though Michael pissed a couch on the weekend. Yeah. Again, another couch to the list. I um, had a different sort of party. It is um, Step Parent Day, apparently. Yeah, you had like karaoke and stuff, right? Yeah, my girlfriend and stepdaughter threw a little surprise shindig. Yeah, it looked cute. I watched the stories. Yeah, it was cute. I can't stop playing with my fat rolls. Uh, yeah. They're so addictive. It like sits over my pants now. We haven't worked out for a long time. Things are on the decline <laughs> physically. Mental health state is um, also plummeting. I think it coincides with the physical state. So, um, yeah, things are just going pretty downhill. Our magpie video that we put a lot of time and effort into was demonetized. You Facebook. got threatened with a knife the other week. Oh, yeah, maybe we should tell that story. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, is that too detailed, though? Because they might listen to it and get all offended. Oh, well, fuck them. Yeah, true. They are pieces of work, <clears throat> which is like any human being. All right. Um, on this day... <clears throat> Famous birthdays. Uh, Today is um, Mark Wahlberg's 42nd birthday. Wow, he's so young. That was a lie. Okay. Um, Also... Kim Clijsters turned 30. Yeah, Kim Clijsters. I used to have a massive crush on her when I was a kid. Yeah, we had to give her a uh, call this morning to wish her a happy birthday, which is, of course, also a lie. And uh, Oprah Winfrey turns um, 73 today. And she um, has been diagnosed with a third breast. What? That's probably cancer. Cause no, no, no. Grow she, yeah, she, that's what everyone thought. But it's just she has a third breast growing. What? Where? The center of her no, back? Just on her, on her uh, stomach. Just oh. underneath the original two breasts. Wow. And that is, of course, also a lie. On this day in 1963, um, there were three TVs found on the moon. All right, the next segment, uh, which has, of course, been renamed to Moon. Low energy name. <laughs> suits, suits the episode. Uh, and this is a segment where we just read fan questions, which we have been sent in via Instagram. One of our favorite segments and one of um, Julia Roberts' favorite segments as well, which is, of course, a lie. Oh, here we go. First questions from Tan John Martin with double N in between Tan and Martin. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. When will Matt Brown from Wholesome come on as a guest? Uh, great question. Um, perhaps. Maybe I don't know. Maybe for episode number thirty, we'll get Matt Brown from Wholesome on, and he can tell us about Wholesome. <laughs> and he can wear his uniform. <laughs> but yes, we will get him on soon. If that's what the people want, that's what the fucking people get. Yeah, and thank you to everyone who messaged Matt from Wholesome via Instagram. Yeah, apparently last episode we told everyone to, and he's he was he's Instagram D he was inundated with them. He couldn't he had to delete the app. That's how many he was getting. Next message is from it's Matt B two five five eight. Matt B, who's that? Brown. Mm, wholesome. Um, okay, would we rather place a glass cup with lubricant into our open gaping ass, which promptly shatters, or place a piece of paper across 
the pink aspect of your dick leading to a fine cut which bleeds for a short period of time. That's easy. The second one. Yeah, the second one. The bit. first one, you would probably die. Very uh, graphic, but great question. Uh, but yeah, the first one, look, the, the shattered pieces of glass might uh, come out easily seeing that they're covered in lube, but um, yeah, I'd, I'm definitely going to have to go option number two for that one because um, my insides are already quite fucked, apparently. Oh, cancer. Fuck. All right, here we go. J underscore Dan three four. If you guys never met each other, what do you think you'd be doing now? Um, I'd probably be a um, rich a business tycoon and I would have started a newspaper recycling industry. Not just a business, an industry that recycles newspapers. And I would have built uh, drones that go and collect the newspapers that people uh, throw out. And the drones would collect the newspapers, bring them into the factory where they would get recycled into rubber. And then I'd sell the rubber to uh, companies that buy rubber. And I'd be a multi-millionaire and my name would be Klim Pine. <laughs> Pine's good. I'd probably be, I reckon, like number four in the world at tennis. And he'd be wouldn't be able to walk, and he'd be really, really fat. Yeah, it'd be like the what's it called, the wheelchair tennis, like power. Oh, I thought you meant like gaming. He'd be number four in the world at gaming tennis. No, nah, no, nah, I'd I'd be the actual tennis sport. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. You'd be number four in the world at gaming. At yeah, one, well, maybe one, the, one, not even the most popular tennis game, like the fifth most popular tennis game. Maybe Anna Kornikova. Smash, Smash court tennis or something, yeah. Yeah, and he'd be the fourth best and incredibly overweight. Fun fact for you guys, speaking of gaming, me and Martin were in the top 10 in the world at Worms Armageddon 2. Number nine we were. And we did beat the world number one multiple times. Yeah. Anyway. All right, next question is from the Ben Fisher. At what age did you, Marty, start to get flustered in feelings for cows? Uh, look, it's all I've always had it. Even as a child, I noticed uh, feelings of rage and, uh, when we lived on a farm. <coughs> um, yeah, so from very early on, but the feeling feelings definitely intensified through puberty and when I came of age. And um, yeah, I first acted on them maybe in my late teens. I bitch slapped a huge dairy cow. And then um, that sort of riled me right up, gave me goosebumps and a very, very painful erection. And um, yeah, I just sort of got more and more violent from there and started closing my fist to punch and um, kissing with teeth. And then with, of that, of course, eventually led to a full-blown penetration after um, knocking the beasts unconscious. Did... Like so, you didn't act on it till late teens. So you, when did you, you started thinking of it when you were young? I started f fooling around with them, maybe like thirteen. Like, well, you quickly have a grab and then pushed it away. Or yeah, something. I'd start hitting them and chasing them and throwing sticks at them and spitting at them and <laughs> scratching their legs. Holy shit! Yeah, man. So yeah, cows have always been in the back of your mind. Cows will always be there. Cows will always be there, mooing and bleating. And running through what's fields. The, what's bleating mean? I think it's like mooing. Okay. All right. Next question is from underscore Nyala dot Munich with an underscore at the end. Did you just touch me then? I did. Okay. Um, why, why did Jackson live with you? <laughs> it's a great question. Um, he definitely regretted it early on. He, um, yeah, it's not really, it's not a nice house. And um, we're not nice to live with. And the place is fucked. And we were still really poor at this stage. And um, yes, yeah, so I don't know. I guess I, he just sort of... We, we got some shit done. We got videos done and it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We did, did a lot of silly things. We smoked a lot of weed and got high at night and gamed and ate a lot of junk food and we kissed. Yeah, we used to sleep next to each other. Yeah, and um, yeah, and now he just lives down the road. This is from Mendel Hertz Wits. <laughs> Can you please roast Fast and Furious? Oh fuck, we've done it so many times, haven't we? It's hard. He's got to get hate and energy into it. Yeah, I'll just dot points is just don't like. Yeah, they're just look. You've watched five minutes of the movie and you know exactly that. <clears throat> 
the main character is going to get the girl at the end and that there's a big boss guy that he's going to have to battle at the end and the main guy will just win and then he'll probably become maybe friends with the main bad guy that's what's going to happen and the middle bit is just fucking hot dudes and hot chicks saying dumb shit like real corny fucking lines terrible acting and really unbelievable action scenes like fuck off yeah actions to the good guy always misses dodges all the bullets and there's one good guy and like 50 bad dudes action movies are fucked it's like there's no it's like they can't get hurt if they can jump off 10 story buildings and land on the ground and be okay it's not on they're not superheroes and if they are just say they are yeah they should be wearing capes then to make that clear and fuck cars too yeah, God. In general, like if you're obsessed with cars, that's it's not on. It's too far. I don't. Yeah, just like yeah, a car's a car. Like it's not living. It doesn't provide milk. You can't you can't cut it up and turn it into beef. It doesn't have beautiful little fine coat of hair on it. It doesn't have a massive beautiful head, plump cheeks. Doesn't have hooves. Doesn't have anything. <laughs> you can't fuck a car. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Yeah, but you can't fuck it properly. The exhaust doesn't fit nicely around your cock. It's just it's just like fucking air, a bucket. Because your dick just goes in the exhaust and out. You can't feel the sides. At least with a K, you can feel the flesh around your cock so you know something's going on. I love their eyes. They're so huge. Yeah, I've put a thumb in some. <laughs> thumb in the eye. <laughs> and pushed it as far in as I could. <laughs> in front of its calf. <laughs> oh, fuck. Holy, yeah. The cars are fucked. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Cars are fucked. <laughs> Cows are great. <laughs> Oh, this is from Nicholas underscore Malone 24. How long have you had your dog for and how's he going? Six years and he's going real good. He's, I think he's putting on a bit of weight. I'm going to have to put him on a diet again. When's he turned seven? Next April. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's like six and a half nearly. So, um, yeah, he's, his life expectancy is only like nine. So, um, But I think he'll probably live to maybe 20 because... I, don't, I still don't fully believe that he is a dog. Yeah, he is. He's part human. Yeah. He sighs. He has emotions. It's crazy. This next question is from Bryce, our mate. He says, Aussie, his Instagram is Aussie underscore carts 99. Who's the owner of Bosley? Marty is. I, I had Bosley given to me as a gift like six years ago. And um, yeah, and now he's all mine. <laughs> so... And this question's the last question. It's from Jordan Dot Crawley, That's our mate from, from Melbourne. Yeah. And uh, he asked, "What kind of kids were you both?" I was a little fucking psycho, a little ADD boy, run around screaming and laughing. And <clears throat> you were naughty. You'd always get in trouble. I was a very naughty boy, very naughty. And Mum would always get really angry because the principal would call every day and say the naughty thing that I'd done. Mm, oh, so naughty. My report cards just said naughty, naughty, naughty. And that's it. I was school captain. Yeah. I was an angel until high school happened. And then shit went down. <laughs> Fuck off, fly. No, leave it. Let it land on you. Let it land on you. Okay. It did. It landed on my nose. Yeah, Ooh. good. Leave it. Lean Why forward. is it hanging around Le- me? <laughs> Why do you think? Lean forwards, continue to talk, and let the fly be. God, what's wrong with you, man? It's a living creature. Yeah, sorry, dude. Flies are quite important. <clears throat> all right, that's all the questions. All right, which of course brings us to our next segment, which has been renamed. Do you want to, do you want to know what it's... Yeah, yeah, what's it been renamed to? Why are you doing that? Because you're going ah! <laughs> to hurt my fucking ears. Is the name of the new segment. And this is a segment where we tell an old, old wooden ship. Oh, is this story time? Yeah, it's story time. 
Uh, it's time where we tell an old story, and this story is a story that has been strung out for months, and um, it all exploded last week. The police showed up. The poli- We called the police, believe it or not. We invited yeah. the police to our house. Yeah, it's a we, change. It's different. We Normally feared, they just come. We feared for our safety. So a while ago... Jackson and Lockie were over, and we have a lot of unruly, very loud people that come over here a lot, So, and a lot of dumb shit happens here. So, fair enough, some of our neighbours are a little disgruntled, a little offside, and it just so happens that Jackson and Lockie were walking down our driveway, and Jackson was filming a um, an Instagram story, and Lockie walked into our neighbour's fence, which dinted it, and put that on Instagram, and someone has who knows the neighbours, has sent that Instagram story to them and they uh, have thought that we've done it on purpose or something. So, But we didn't know. We got... How did we first find out? We got a letter well, from the real estate, didn't we? No, no, no. What happened was we found out... Well, I didn't even find out. My roommate who lives with me finds out because he wakes up as just as he's moved in to a knocking at the door with screaming, had no idea what the fuck's going on, Opened it up. It's old mate, one of the neighbours, who's... The guy who lives lives there. He's he's quite upset. So, he came over and... Um, was Threatened doing, us. Was doing some pretty pretty threatening things, you know, turning his hand into a, a gun and pointing it at us and... Saying, you know, I'm going to get all of I'm you gonna, guys. I'm going to sort you guys out, start, you know, pay for the... Fix the fence, blah, blah, blah. And this my roommate's like, just moved in, so he has no fucking idea what the is. hell is going on and why he's getting yelled at. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Lucky was like, I don't know who you are, I don't know what's going on. And then, anyway, that he left, and um, so, and then Lucky told us, obviously, and, and, and we didn't, even then, had no idea which fence was, was broken or whatever. It was only when we then found out, when, when Jackson and, and Lucky had told us, oh, Lucky walked into that fence, and then we saw there was a little dint in it that uh, we were like, oh, that's the fence. Anyway, we knew the guy was, um, was really annoyed. And um, so we were sort of hesitant to go there because he was, uh, th- you know, was quite threatening. If you threaten someone over a fence, you're fucked. You're fucked up. You don't go and threaten someone's life because they've damaged your fence. If you care about a fence, you're fucked. Yeah. Well, End of story. Well, I don't. Yeah, I think that there was. Um, more to it but we didn't know that there was more to it at this stage right so anyway uh a month or so goes by we're sort of waiting because the guy came over and said that we need to pay for the fence so we're sort of waiting for them to get the fence fixed and then we were just planning on we're just going to make Lockie pay for it there and then um because it was you know a little awkward now but anyway months went by then there was another time when no one when no one was home except one of our our friends had crashed here on the night. And again, he came over real early in the morning, was banging on the fence, saying, "I know you're in there," saying that we have to, uh, you know, pay for the fence, blah blah blah. So he, the guy, just had random outbursts every now and then over the space of the five months. And um, I'd, I, he'd never confronted me. Uh, I'd never seen it. And um, anyway, so this happened a few times. And then I was just last week, I was walking up the driveway. I saw him fixing his motorbike. And I thought, oh, good. I can talk to him and, and you know, sort out the, the awkwardness finally. Because, you know, everyone that lives here was, was pretty scared of him. He's like, he's a big dude, you know, rides around in, on motorbikes and stuff like that. But not so much his appearance, just the things that he would say were very intimidating and threatening. And anyway, I tried to talk to him, and, and uh, as soon as I opened my mouth, he walked straight over to me, got like 20 centimeters away from my face, and just started saying saying shit. Like, I was like, oh, um, you know, let us know how much the fence is. Um, we'll, we'll get it fixed. And he's like, fuck off. You won't get the fence fixed. You've had five months to get it fixed. You're not going to do shit. And then I was like, oh, yes, we will. I'll, we'll pay for the fence. And he's kept saying, fuck off. And he's started getting more and more worked up, really, really worked up. And then he's like, why didn't you come over? You've had five months to come over and pay for it. Why haven't you done it? And I was like, oh, well, because, you know, after the first time you'd threatened the housemates, everyone's sort of a bit scared to come over. 
uh, and you're, you've you've intimidated everyone at the house. And then he got right up in my face and then pulled a a handle of something out of his pocket. Um, he was working on his bike. I initially thought it was a knife, but it could have been any. It could have been a tool. Could have been anything. So yeah, he's but he's he's meant it in a really intimidating way, and he's. And he's just pulled half the whatever it was out of his pocket, just revealing the handle and got right in my face. And then I just sort of turned and walked away and he was just sort of screaming and carrying on. Can you say like you should be intimidated? Like, yeah, yeah. So, more threats. Uh, yeah. Level-headed dude. Yeah, and he was saying stuff like, oh, you know, pay the money, otherwise I'll come over and get something of equal value or some, some shit like that. So, yeah, he's just saying basically that he's going to come and take something that's worth whatever it costs to fix the fence. So, anyway, that's like, yeah, that was like, all right, that's pretty fucked up. So, I came indoors and we just called the uh, the cops straight away. Cops came over and um, and then we just explained everything to them and asked the cops to go and talk to the guy because obviously whenever we try and talk to him, he just blows up. Like they, that was proven when I tried to talk to him to resolve it. He has anger issues. Yeah. So anyway, the cops went over there and, um, and then spoke to them and then came back. And the cops said that he didn't say a word. It was all his wife that was doing the talking. And the reason why he was so annoyed is because the wife for the last five months has felt really, really scared and intimidated by us living here. The, apparently, we do things that are really scary, and um, and they watch the videos, obviously. So they just think we're you know a bit crazy. And apparently, the husband works away a lot, which of course we didn't know. I don't know why she expected us to know that, but yeah, she they he works away a lot and just apparently she was under the impression that we were trying to intimidate her which we never would do and have never done all we try and do is just do dumb videos and we try and make sure that we keep all the pain shit in house so we just do it to each other anyway so the police was like oh she wants to come over and talk to you and wants to get an apology and and blah 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 so we're like yeah bring her over and then we spoke to her apologized for the fence Lockie gave her some money for the fence and the reason that she was so upset was yeah because she thought we were intimidating her and then her husband would get home from work and she would tell her husband and then he'd race over and go off his nut and intimidate us so massive miscommunication and but like she obviously the husband hasn't even told her that he's been threatening us yeah, because when we yeah. pull that to her light like to show her that that's been happening she's like oh well you guys can take it because I've seen what you guys do, like your gel blaster vids. So it's like just because we can hurt each other on screen and what we do for videos doesn't mean he can threaten us because we can take it. It's like if you're a porn star, I can just go up to you and say, hey, I can rape you because you can take that. Like that's insane fucking thinking. Obviously didn't doesn't like what we do and then thought that it's okay for her husband to do those things because of the things we do in videos apparently we should be able to take it but we called the cops at the end of the day because we felt intimidated and we didn't even know that she was upset we didn't even know that she felt like that write a letter if you're that like upset and yeah. put it in the mailbox be an adult but anyway solve now so yeah that's the story of um our neighbor nearly bloody pulling Stabbing. a pulling a weapon on yeah us. we don't know if it was a knife but he was he was very angry that. <laughs> very angry <laughs> Quite upset. Yeah, so that's story time. So don't piss off your neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> don't, yeah. Don't hurt fences. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we just shot a little elastic band at Matt from Wholesome. And he got a little fright. All right, that is the end of um, story time. Now we're going to dive into our <coughs> another segment. And this segment is... Uh, it's It's... I think this is, what, the first time we're doing it, I think? Yeah, we're just going to read on our YouTube channel, Fully Actual, to see what people want us to talk about. Could be topics, could be other questions. But this is, is from, this sub segment's us reading it from YouTube, not Instagram. Yeah, so our YouTube channel, Fully Actual, people have been commenting on it, and we're going to read some out from our last episode, episode 27. Um, yeah, this... All right, let's uh, get straight in. Well, we didn't give this segment a name. I guess we should probably give it a name. No, I reckon we can just leave it. Hey! Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That'll be the name. Remember that for next week. Okay. Write that down. All right, so we have here from episode number 27, which is where we had Lockie on. We, episode 28 hasn't come out yet because we're, you know, in front. <laughs> 
Um, all right, let's go through and read some of these. Do a whole video of prank calls, or we might do a compilation eventually. Marty and Michael's content means to me what cows mean to Marty. Everything, oh, that's lovely. Don't mm-hmm. ever stop making podcasts. Oh, that's also lovely. <laughs> I'll see if we can, uh, if I can survive <laughs> cancer. Oh. Incredible, love the podcast. If this is your last, you better be scared or something. Amazing, guys. So happy you got Lockie on. Yeah, Lockie was good. Good to see Lock- Lockie being Lockie, not trying to act funny. Love the podcast, boys. Thank you. Such, such a lovely, such lovely comments. What's the gayest experience you have ever had? Michael nearly fucked Jackson. Yeah, but that wasn't... Probably hooking up with a dude. Like, just with tongue. Yeah, but as a joke. Yeah, yeah. To make people angry at bars because they are homophobic. Yeah. Yeah, so... <coughs> but but it's, it's like... It's not what... It's not just passionate, real kissing. It's like sick, yeah. really exaggerated, fucked up it's to get a reaction out hardcore of Hardcore Frenching. So you're not really... It's not romantic. It's just banging your heads together with your tongues out. Basically. So, yeah. That would be the um, most... And also, um, Michael's tossed a guy off before. Yeah. You should take your tops off. You should take your tops off. Dude, no way. Maybe maybe in like six months (sighs) when um, we started taking steroids. If I'm still alive. (laughs) Got cancer, so... Use a fucking legends. I've noticed Luke Owen copied your microwave science experiment and is another one that's saying you should get him on the podcast. Yeah, we'd get Lukey on. Yeah, he's down in Sydney though, so it's a fair hike. Next yeah. time he's up. Are you actually gay? No, no, Mitchell Vlogs, we are not actually gay. We have girlfriends and um, we, are in no- we are so straight that we can do gay shit and not be phased by it, okay? Two Penny Milk. I'm wow, like, dude. He was from two, day one. Two Penny was a guy that made like a fan videos about us when we were nothing. When we were just starting out on YouTube back in the day when we weren't even Marty and Michael. So that was like five years ago. Go subscribe to Two Penny Milk. Yeah. What numbers are at the end? 8908. There you go. Did you get to vi- visit any weed dispensaries in California? If so, what was your favorite thing to try? Yes, of course mm. we went there. We bought. CBD oil, not from them. Obviously, you can get that anywhere. But yeah, we bought heaps of joints, heaps of different weed. Edibles. Some edibles, little gummies. We got, we double dropped and then we went on scooters and mid-scooter ride to the cinema that we're going to see a movie. It hit and oh my God, yeah. it was hard to stand up. Yeah, it was fucked. But yeah, very cool. I can't wait for that to be around in Australia. Uh, what's the most disturbing slash scariest thing you've ever experienced? Um, sleep paralysis. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Yeah, it's probably is it so supernatural and weird? Sleep paralysis. Probably just like um, health scares. I'm pretty shit. I just hate anything to do with health. Just want health to be something you don't have to worry about. But God, it's always something you got to fucking think about. So annoying. Just be healthy. Yeah. Body. God. Yeah, I think about death a lot, (laughs) if we're being honest. But yeah, that's that question answered. What's with all the shock pens in the cup laughing my ass off? We did a uh, brand deal for these shock pen guys a while ago, and they sent us like 20 of them because we needed a few for the video. So um, yeah, and we just like to have them around just in case someone asks for a pen or something and then they get one and, and push it down and uh, and shock themselves. So yeah, it's quite um, quite comical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Like uh, playing little pranks on uh, people who visit. So. We've shocked a few people, let's yeah, put it that yeah, way. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come over if you've got a, a pacemaker or something. <laughs> <laughs> or a weak heart. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, or cancer. Oh. Don't come over if you have cancer. Oh, 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 dude. What is your most diabolical night out you've ever had? Um, fuck me, eh? Hey, there's been so many, they, so many benders, they. Yeah. We've done a lot of, yeah. What would, fuck. This, the time we got arrested overseas, that was a pretty fucked night. The time, the huge drug benders, well, we don't really remember much. Yeah, it's just all black. We, it's impossible to pick one. 
the time when we were pretend when we were like 18 when we used to pretend to be a famous rock band and would get free drinks and and girls that way the time we used to with that time we killed that guy yeah well the time that we fucking took you know who to the woods and beat the shit out of him yeah the time we took and that, pissed on him took that guy and kidnapped someone the time we found a raped man at the end oh, of the night out man yeah we there's, found- there's two men how do you choose all right next question uh could you talk about the greatest assets of a Taurus man? Um, I am Taurus. We are Taurus. Yeah. On the cusp. I'm nearly a Gemini. I, I, look, I've read them for fun, read the little things, but God, they're really, it's just like, what are you fucking mean star signs? The Taurus is meant to be a really stubborn, quiet person. So that's not right. Yeah. Wow. Is that? Yeah, and, I've heard and, it's stubborn. I'm pretty stubborn, but quiet i guess we're not really quiet and the taurus is meant to uh get obliterated drunk and and piss themselves involuntary everywhere well, so that's, that's that doesn't that's me but oh not yeah you. yeah no yeah that's right yeah wow hmm. okay yeah so maybe there's a few things a few things about taurus that are spot on Jaden stacker has said when you met marty in high school 2005 we... really yeah oh 2005 like half our lives ago all right, they want us to talk about, uh, have you traveled to another planet? Yes, we have. Yeah. Astral projection. Yep. And also uh, physically, we uh, oh, flew a plane I once. thought about that. Flew a plane and like veered too hard to the right. There was one time I went out on a boat. I was just on a tinny and I drove like to the, like out to sea and I, to the point where I couldn't see land anymore. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I got to another planet. That definitely sounds like it. If you can't see land, that's probably like maybe Mars or something mm. by the sounds of that. And yeah, there was that one time where the plane banked a bit too hard to the right for like 40 seconds and I'm pretty sure that we were like near Mercury or something. Like yeah, just, we hit it and then we deflected yeah, off just it. Going through the atmosphere of it. So like, yeah, weird shit. But yeah, yeah. So of course, of course we have. Have either of you had a didgeridoo battle? Yes, weekly. I can't do it. Well, yeah, that's we both of us can't do it, but uh, we swing them at each other as hard as we can. Yeah, we have battles with them. Talk about your first route. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> what am I going to say? It wasn't long ago. It literally happened just before Monique, you said. Yeah, well, it was um, it was the first time with the, with the cow. Yeah. <laughs> So you'd never, if you're acting out as a teenager on them, then what the fuck, how's it going to take till you're 29 to well, do I penetration? Really, I didn't really count it as sex for a long time, you know? Like there were times where I probably had sex with a cow, but I sort of just black out. And so it's not 100% sure. Like there's no memory of it. So did it ever really happen? Yeah. It's like if a tree was falls. Time, that was the first time I remembered having sex was, yeah, right 29. Wow. Yeah, I was like 12. It was at the local Catholic church. Uncles. There were 15 uncles well, around. My uncle was a priest at that point. And yeah, it went from thumbs to uh, fists to cock. It went from thumbs and bums to fists and wrists. Matthew Brown Wholesome. Jeff from Jake Osborne. Matthew uh, Brown. Uh, Matthew Gregory Brown. Uh, works Wholesome. Wholesome Concrete. They've got their... Um, Headquarters there in the, uh, in Milton. So Matthew Brown, he's uh, quite high up. He's worked his way up the ranks there and got a promotion a while ago. And uh, yeah, so he's got a few people under him. And yeah, let's just say uh, yeah, things are going well and wholesome. So Matthew Brown is a big big part of that. So Matthew Brown, wholesome wholesome concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Such a creepy voice. <laughs> What is your weirdest sexual experience? <laughs> oh, one time this um, uh, blind nun shoved both her arms up my ass and um, pulled to the sides and um, we ended up having a, a fight. So, yeah, that was probably my weirdest. Yeah, I had a hand go in my ass and then, like, it was a fist and then they went like this and spread them and the, not, the rings that... Uh, she was wearing had like jagged edges so as she springed them out they sort of cut i remember that i remember laughing and um 
painting I was making. I was yeah, painting you, at the time. Yeah, you loved your paint, painting then. Do you have any phobias? Yes, birds. Birds terrify me. I was attacked by a magpie. But yeah, I was attacked very aggressively um, when I was a small boy. And it nearly killed me. It was bomb diving me. It was trying to fucking kill me. And I was lying on the ground screaming for like a long time. Someone died this morning from a magpie. We just released yesterday. It would have been out for over a week now. Yeah, go watch our magpie video. We did another experiment. And um, of course, it got demonetized because Facebook's great. (laughs) And uh, yeah, this guy died. Apparently, it swooped him. And then he lost his balance came off the bike, hit a fence and died from head injuries later on that day. That's not on. If a, a bird shouldn't kill you. Yeah, that's weak. If it's... He was 76 years old. Yeah, so he's pretty old. Oh. He should know. Oh, he'd had a good run anyway then. Well, you've had 76 years to figure out to not be weak. Like, you should be stronger at that <laughs> age. I don't yeah. get it. True. You should, you've got 76 years to work out that don't be scared of magpies. Fuck. Um, and then the last question, uh, your other channel is better than this channel. <laughs> All um, right, which brings us to our final segment, and um, which has, of course, been renamed. And we did a lot of question answering today. Yeah. Everyone learned a lot about us. All right, the final segment has been renamed Prank Calls with Marty and Michael. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 dot, 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 and then that bit at the end. Uh, and this is a segment where we just do uh, some prank calls and this week's prank call idea my phone's filming this so I can't see the guy's username fuck he wanted a shout out but um, sorry dude Um, anyway he suggested that I call Domino's and then pretend that whatever the guy is saying is a joke like a really funny joke I thought that was a good idea so that is what I'm going to fucking do okay it's ringing Hey, can I just make a pickup order, please? <laughs> yes. Um, w- can I get uh, one large barbecue meat lovers, please? Yes. What are the um the uh, base sizes you have again? Sorry, what was it? What are the base sizes you have again? Like the um. Ah, uh, the size. Yeah. Uh, we've got like uh, extra large and normal large one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. What, what so what what are they? So just one barbecue meal level. All oh, right. Um yeah, I'll just get a a, a large please. Um and yes. can I get um a, do you guys what's that one with um with pineapple on it? Um Hawaiian pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, Hawaiian Like the uh, the the country. I feel like we got pizza with um, there's like a supreme with a pineapple on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the uh, pineapple on there as well. You are uh, you are quite the uh, the uh, breath of fresh air. I'll tell you that much. I've never um experienced a uh, order like this before. Yes, I'll I'll have one of them. Thanks. <laughs> very you good. Very. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh my God, that is you are very witty, very quick on your feet there. Uh, yeah, so I'll get the um the Hawaiian, please. Yes. And um, yeah. what what uh, what drinks do you guys have? Uh, we got a Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Mountain Dew, <laughs> so, 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 Oi, she's just said Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, you are a crack up, miss. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, I'll just have the uh, the Pepsi Max, thanks. <laughs> Mountain Dew. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one from now on. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Pepsi Max, thanks. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, yeah, do you guys have any um, sides? So, um, what do you have any side specials with the two large pizzas? And uh, do you have any um, side deals? Uh, sorry? Pardon? Uh, I can't hear you. What did you say? 
What are there any specials? Do you guys have any specials for two uh, large pizzas? Yes, uh, two pizza with a garlic bread in a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's put me on hold. Don't you love it when your just right? They're gonna. <sighs> yes, I'll uh, I'll get the. Uh, what did you call it? The uh, the garlic bread was it? <laughs> yes, garlic bread. Yeah, yeah. Put me down for um for one of those, thanks. Um, uh, so uh, so how much how much is all of that in total? <laughs> garlic bread. Nice that is a classic. Literally had tears in my eyes then. Very very funny. Sorry, how much was that? Thirty-nine dollars and ninety cents. Thirty-nine dollars and ninety cents. That's that's nearly thirty dollars. Yes. Wait, are you? Is this another joke? Oh uh, no, because like before, if we don't choose this one, it's all over thirty-three. So this isn't. You're not making another hilarious joke. This is. You're being serious. Twenty-nine dollars. I'm just gonna to have to check my bank details because I thought I thought it'd be like fifteen dollars tops. No, because like it's traditional pizza, so <laughs> this is not. Uh, I'm so sorry, but what's so funny about it? Just, I can't believe you said traditional pizza. Then that was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's so funny, but like, yeah, it's traditional pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do comedy or something? Like, what is this? Am I being like recorded or something? <laughs> What's with all the jokes? Seriously. <laughs> What's with all the jokes? I've never... Oh my God. Is this like something that just you guys do? Just be really funny or something? <laughs> Thanks for holding. A Domino's team member... For fuck's sake. Hello? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, twenty nine dollars was it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Um, I, I might just have to put that order on hold and give you guys a call back because um, I've only got about fifteen dollars in coins, but I might have a large silver spoon that's worth fifty dollars. I could bring that in. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll get back to you. I am currently in my neighbor's house. Alright. See ya. Alright, thank you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Oh man, I wish you kept doing that uh, uh, for like fucking like thirty seconds. Yeah, next time, next oh, time man. when the um the cancer isn't looming, will be much funnier. Okay, so everyone have a lovely week. This is the end of episode twenty nine. You might have noticed those not watching that the painting is missing on the right. It's because um, Michael uh, frisbeed it into the wall and destroyed it. So if you have any artwork that you want to send in. We'll have a PO box soon. I've got to sort. We'll that. just we'll just DM us your picture, and we'll get it blown up and put there. Yeah, new spot available. Okay, we'll go down Office Works and get it blown up and put it in a frame. Mm, would you like that? <laughs> yeah, are we still the best this week? Yeah, look, we are, but it's just a different type of best. We're the best at having health issues and being sad. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so um, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to always put your uh, shoes under the couch so that people don't trip on them as they walk into your house. You fucking dumb bitch, mum. You fucking dumb bitch. That really fucked me up. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. best.